Hello everyone, welcome to Naresha Technologies. This is Hari Krishna. We are continuing learning collections framework topic. As part of this topic, we are learning next point uh, that is differences between array and collection. So, there are several differences between array and collection. So, here I have listed out totally 14 differences. All these 14 points are very important differences. These are the maximum differences we have between array and collection. How much easy it is remembering? You cannot carry any book to the entry room. When enter asks the question, tell me the differences between array and collection if you ask. So, you cannot open the book and tell. Na. How can you remember these uh, 14 differences in sequence? If you say in sequence only, it will be good. So, how can I remember? Is there any clue? Yes, there is a clue for you to remember difference between array and collections. The clue is nothing but the problems of array. We learn four problems in array, remember? These four problems, solution is nothing but collection we learn. Then simple point, array cannot do this. If you say collection can do this, that is it na? Simple, there is a matter, array and collection differences are over. So, first list out what are the problems of array in your mind and say array cannot do this and you say collection can do this. Come on, come on. Let us try to differentiate array from collection. So, tell me what is the first problem of array? First problem of array, what is the first problem of array? Can you try to recollect? Array is language level object. It means it does not have any physical class. Whereas, collection is API level object. It means it has a physical class defined in Java dot util package. Again repeating, array is a language level object. It does not have physical class. That means, logical class is there? Yes. Every array, once you create array object, it is a reference type. It should have a class. So, that class is automatically generated by JVM software at execution time. Compiler software only check type is available or not. It does not have any class generated. But at execution time, JVM background will contain some class. Okay? So, it creates that uh, class at runtime. Once that array object uh, completed, then the class will be removed from JVM memory. So, what is the first difference between array and collection? Array is language level object. Collection is API level object. Okay, that is the first difference. Second difference, array fixed in length. Okay, array length is fixed. That means, array is a fixed length object, whereas collection is a growable length object. If I create array with 10 elements, I mean 10, length, 10 as a length, then only we are allowed to store 10 objects. If we try to store 11th object, we may get exception, array index out of bounds exception. Whereas, uh, collection is a growable length object. That means, we created uh, a collection with uh, capacity 10, length 10. Then, 11th object when you are trying to store, automatically the capacity will be increased, length will be increased. How length is increased already you know, internally new array object is created. Go back to previous sessions. Uh, then, third, third problem of array, it can store only homogeneous objects. It does not allow to store heterogeneous objects, whereas collection will store heterogeneous objects and also homogeneous. Both type of objects are allowed to store in collection because collection background maintaining object array, you know it. Okay? And then fourth difference is what? Fourth problem of array, when to use array and when to use collection. Uh, now, tell me based on second and third point, fixed length and homogeneous object. Based on second and third point, you can prepare fourth point. Prior to storing objects, if I know how many objects to store, what type of objects to store, better use array object. Okay? If we do not know how many objects to store, what type of objects to store, then you must use a collection, not better to use. You have only one option, you must use collection object. Why? Because it is growable in nature. As and when new object is coming, if uh, required space is not there in the collection, that capacity will be automatically increased. Okay? Uh, so, now prior to storing objects, if I know how many objects to store, what type of objects to store, better use array object. When you do not know how many objects to store, what type of objects to store, use collection. Then, based on this point, try to think array is what object? It is a raw object. 
So, it does not implement on any proper data structure and algorithm. It does not have any algorithm, does not have any proper data structure, just it is a raw object. Okay? It does not it is does not have any functionality background. Whereas, every collection object is implemented based on some standard algorithms and standard data structures. That is why it is growable, right? Collection is a class, means class means what background we can write whatever logic we want. So, based on some standard algorithms and standard data structure, it is implemented. That means, array is does not have any inbuilt methods, whereas collection contains some inbuilt methods. Okay? Uh, Array is a raw object, collection is not raw object, it is implemented based on some data structure. Then based on this uh, next point, based on this point we can prepare the next point. Tell me, I created array object, then now because it is a raw object, we can directly access memory. I am storing objects directly, I am retrieving objects directly. So, performance is good. Array performance is good because we can directly access memory to store and retrieve. Whereas, collection performance is not good compared to array, very important. Collection performance is good, if it is not performance is good, nobody will use. Collection performance is good, but compared to array, collection performance is not up to the mark. It is give us less performance. Why? Now, if I want to store objects in collection, collection is a class. So, if you want to access any object, we have to go via methods. If you want to store object, you must call add method. If you want to retrieve object, you must call get method. Because methods are executing in addition to storing and retrieving, that is why collection performance is less compared to array. Okay? Uh, next point, because there are no proper functionalities, proper methods available in array, functionality point of view also, array is not recommended to use, array is not recommended to use in the project. Whereas, collection contains proper methods like adding we have method, retrieving we have method, removing we have method, inserting we have method, whatever operations you want to perform on that particular collection object, we have proper methods. So, functionality wise, collection is good to use. Okay? So, uh, these are the seven important differences what I have listed. So, first try to recollect all these seven differences and then we will move on to the next seven differences. Next seven differences are based on the last seventh point, functionality wise. So, first try to recollect all the seven differences and then we move on to the next point. Tell me, I am telling you once again on what basis we have to remember the differences based on uh, what? Based on problems of array. You remember problem, automatically so, uh, differences you can find. Okay? So, now come on, first point is what? Array is a language level object, whereas collection is API level object. Next, array is a fixed length object and collection is what? Growable length object. And next, uh, array allows only homogeneous objects, whereas collection allows both homogeneous and heterogeneous objects. Uh, now, tell me, based on second and third point, array, uh, if you want, if you know objects to store, prior to storing the objects, if you know uh, how many objects and type of objects to store, it is better to use array. Okay? Uh, whereas, if you do not know how many objects to store, what type of objects to store, we must use a collection. Okay? There is no option, you must use collection. Right? Uh, then based on the second point, uh, now tell me, array, array is a raw object. Okay? It does not have implemented any on based on any standard data structure or algorithm. It is just a raw object, whereas uh, collection is developed, every collection is developed on a standard algorithm and data structure. So, uh, array does not have any inbuilt methods, whereas collection contains some inbuilt methods to perform different operations like adding, counting, searching, re retrieving, replacing, removing, inserting. To perform all these operations, we have inbuilt methods. Uh, next. Array gives high performance compared to collection object because we will access the memory of array object directly uh, without using any additional methods. Whereas, collection gives less performance compared to array uh, because we will access collection memory not directly via methods. In a collection, in, uh, in storing and retrieving purpose, additionally some methods and some logic background executing for that purpose, now we are going to get what? Uh, less performance of collection. Collection gives less performance compared to array. Right. Next, seventh important point, functionality wise array is 
not recommended to use in the project because it doesn't have any inbuilt methods na right and it doesn't implemented any proper algorithm and data structure whereas collection is recommended to use in uh, projects functionality wise because uh, it is having inbuilt methods to perform different operations these are the seven very important differences uh, you have to remember and try to talk in interview room uh, in addition to these seven points if you say these seven points also it's very very good okay so what are the seven points next coming based on functionality and tell me what are the different operations these functionalities you have to remember based on operations what are the operations we will tell seven operations na those are seven operations only i listed here uh, come on first one is what while storing objects in array if i store object beyond the length of the uh, array then what happen we will get array index out of bounds exception so eighth point uh, in array we may get array index out of bounds exception while storing objects uh, tell me in a collection do you have any chance to get array index out of bounds exception 100% you will not get array index because collection is growable in nature uh, second next point ninth point we store objects only in insertion order array will allow us to store object only in insertion order with index store okay then whereas in a collection we have different approaches are there tell me what is the problem with array problem number three storing order i told na? storing order array will store only in insertion order but i want to store in different order like insertion order i want to store collection allow us to store in insertion order and sorting order and also hash code based order and also table format so totally four different formats we can store repeating insertion order sorting order hash code based order and table format order these are the four ways we can store whereas in array we can store only insertion order okay in what order you are sending objects to collection in that order only it will store yes okay insertion understand let us try to understand retrieving after storing obviously we have to retrieve while retrieving objects from the array we can retrieve objects only randomly or sequentially that's it but if we use a collection we can retrieve objects randomly we can retrieve objects sequentially also we can retrieve object last in first out manner and first in first out manner okay so nothing but last in first out manner is what type of collection it is stack type collection ah uh, first in first out manner what type of it is it is nothing but q type collection object okay right so different format support is there in the collection and very important point uh, now in array we cannot insert element at the beginning of the array or in the middle of the array in location for example i have added a c d e f i forgot to add b now i wanted to insert b before c and after a is it possible in array no whereas it is possible in collection in a collection we can insert object at the beginning or in the middle of the collection elements why because it is implemented on proper data structure na right already we have seen in the previous videos uh, now uh, insert operation okay we can develop that code but whereas in array we do not have that functionality not only insert point of view in array we cannot remove object but we can replace object already added a b c d now i don't want to be i want to remove there is no support to remove the value from the array but we can replace in place of b uh, i can store something else but that location i cannot make it empty that is what the point remove okay but collection is support removing object and also it will support uh, what you call replacing object okay and then next very important point array array cannot stop duplicate objects and cannot stop a heterogeneous objects to store and cannot stop to store null sometimes we don't want to duplicates to come we don't want heterogeneous objects to come we don't want a null values to come but array will not allow us to stop like that uh, now if i use a collection collection can stop collection can stop duplicate objects we can maintain only unique objects for that we will use one of the collection type called set set will allow us only to store unique objects duplicates it will stop i want to store only homogeneous objects i don't want heterogeneous yes we can stop heterogeneous objects uh, now by writing our own algorithm or also we can use something called tree set concept is there using tree set concept we can stop heterogeneous objects and allow us to store only homogeneous objects and null sometimes okay using tree set we can stop storing null values okay right so now what is the point collection cannot stop duplicate objects and heterogeneous objects here i have a question sir array is a homogeneous you told again you are coming cannot stop heterogeneous what is the point 
it is a confusion for me. Here you told point number point number 3 array allows only homogeneous objects, but now come to the point number 13 you are telling the array cannot stop heterogeneous objects, it is a confusing for me. Yeah, If I take object type array, we can store heterogeneous object now we already learned this point. If I take object array type object, then we can store person objects, student, employee, we can store animal objects, lion or tiger, we can store vehicle objects, bike, bus, these are heterogeneous objects. Here my meaning homogeneous objects means I created student array, then only student objects allowed, employee array, only employee objects are allowed, but Java supports inheritance point I told from the inheritance point of view, if you create object array, then we can store any type of object, then in that case we cannot stop heterogeneous, but collection will stop heterogeneous objects, okay. And last but not least point, okay, last point but not least, what is that? Array will allow us to store primitive values as a primitive value and also can allow us to store objects. But in collection, collection does not allow primitive values to store as a primitive type. I do not want to give a statement collection does not allow primitive values. It allows primitive values not in the format of primitive values. It will allow us to store primitive values in the format of wrapper class objects. It is a programmer responsibility to convert wrapper class type and then you have to store. But if you take array, primitive values are directly allowed. Why collection does not allow to store primitive values as a primitive values? Because it is background using object array. Object array is of type reference, primitive values cannot store in uh, reference type. Okay? I hope you got some idea. So, totally we have 14 points, important 14 points on array and collection. Please try to remember all these points. I am stopping this topic here. Once again you revise, once again you listen until you remember, try to recollect again and again. Okay? I hope you enjoyed learning these points. Follow the next videos in Naresh IT channel. Okay? Subscribe to our channel and follow it. Okay? Thank you. All the best.